What's up guys, my name is Ryan, I play chess, put my videos on YouTube. Today I've got an interesting game here. Uh, it was a very aggressive game by me via pawns, and I pushed them forward a lot, and um, it's a example, I like this video because it allows me to expand my uh, mate example uh, playlist. Um, I've got a Damiano's mate, um, and we'll look exactly later on in the game what a Damiano's mate is exactly. Uh, more specifically, it's a Damiano's bishop mate, but anyways, I start off with e4, and he went for the Karokan. I went ahead and protected this pawn because I know that with the center pawn here on d5, he's not going to take this. I threat, I stop any shenanigans by this bishop, which is probably his most natural next move. And uh, he brings this uh, knight right here. I kind of gain a tempo, um, a development tempo, by just taking here, also ruining his pawn structure and weakening this pawn right here on c6. I go ahead and uh, bring my bishop out, bring my queen out, develop my last minor piece, kick his knight away. He's now confined in here. This bishop isn't going anywhere real fast. I threaten this pawn right here. He goes ahead and moves the rook, which was basically my whole point of him, uh, of moving my queen here, is to stop him from castling. I immediately come back over here. I want to centralize my queen, and also I'm threatening this pawn now, and just baiting him to move this pawn right here. What I want to do is start to counter on this queen side, now that I know he can't castle on this king side anymore. So he's probably not going to have a lot of action over here, since his king is vulnerable. Um, so I want to push this pawn up here and start to break some things up. And he counters by bringing the knight there. I go ahead and bring my knight, and exchange off the bishops for the knight. He goes ahead and threatens that pawn, and now he's trapped. This is a trapped piece right now. Can't move right here, can't take this pawn, nothing can protect it. He moves this queen here, and I unfortunately stop his trappedness, I guess. <laughs> the the knight I can no longer take with the queen, but for some reason I wanted this pawn really bad. Anyways, he goes and does the right move and comes over here with the bishop. And I now want to attack this king. This king's in the middle of the board for too long, and um, it's time to start to initiate you know some serious attacks on him. And also use the fact that this bishop and this knight right here are basically useless. Um, just take advantage of that. Um, so he counters by doing what I wanted him to do, which is, you know, extending this. Now my bishop can just sit here as long as it wants. This is a beautiful diagonal for it. And uh, he brings the queen over here, and I initiate my attack. He moves the queen right there, and now I can push this pawn freely. Um, and he goes, uh, takes it, and I threaten mate in one here. Uh, this is a very strong move, because, of course, it threatens mate in one, but it basically is a forced checkmate right here. King has no squares to move right here. It's very vulnerable. Um, that's why you should never leave your king out in the middle of the board. Of course, I did the exact same thing, but I guess I had the initiative, you could say. And it worked out. But anyways, the, king, the queen cannot protect this mate in one in any way. If the queen moves here, my bishop takes it. If the queen moves here, I take the rook. Um, here, I take the queen. So basically, the rook is forced to move. I offer this trade, and the Damiano's mate is set into motion. So, the Damiano's mate is a classic method of checkmating. The checkmate utilizes a queen and bishop, where the bishop is used to support the queen, and the queen is used to engage the checkmate. And that's checkmate right here. You can see the queen is supported by this bishop right here. This is a Damiano's mate, the uh, Damiano's bishop mate. The regular Damiano's mate is with a rook, and is even prettier. But we did it with the queen, and uh, I like this game because of it. Thanks for watching, and I wish you the best of luck in your chess. What's up, guys? Thanks again for watching my video here today. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you have any questions about any specific moves or anything about the game, please leave them below. I'd love to answer those. Um, and last but not least, if you got anything out of this video at all or you just simply enjoyed it, I would highly encourage you to subscribe. Uh, it helps me out a lot, and uh, that way you can you know, get in touch with any future videos that I put out. Anyways, have a good rest of your day, and good luck in your chess.